We begin with new developments out of McCurtain County and a story that we first brought you a year ago this week. Just today, the jail administrator involved in that audio recording scandal was fired and minutes later, rehired as a deputy for the McCurtain County Sheriff's Office. You'll remember those recordings prompted a call by Governor Stitt for everyone involved to resign. Only one of them did, and since then, the McCurtain County Sheriff and others face multiple lawsuits with no sign of any criminal investigation. For years, the McCurtain Gazette has investigated possible corruption within the McCurtain County Sheriff's Office. When the publisher believed public business was taking place privately, he hid an audio recorder. It revealed Sheriff Kevin Clarity, Jail Administrator Larry Hendricks, Investigator Alicia Manning, and County Commissioner Mark Jennings allegedly making racist comments and plotting to kill the Gazette journalists. I know where two big deep holes are here. They Without the paper having online presence then, I tweeted this screenshot, helping catapult their work into the national spotlight. Many in the community protested, and a grassroots impeachment was attempted. Months later, Attorney General Gettner Drummond found no legal grounds to oust Sheriff Clarity. Meanwhile, Tulsa attorney Mitchell Garrett is suing the sheriff and multiple players in McCurtain County in two separate lawsuits and still pressing multiple agencies for a criminal investigation. Families want justice and as a as a civil lawyer all I can bring them are monetary damages. In one he claims his client Roper Harris was brutally beaten inside the McCurtain County Jail over a protective order violation. Garrett alleges a former jail administrator Scott McLean called for the attack because Harris was involved with his stepdaughter. There's video of the guards speaking with some of the inmates uh, saying like Hey, this is the guy, give him the, give him the welcome wagon. A wrongful death lawsuit on behalf of Barbara Barrick is also ongoing, claiming illegal lack of investigation as well as excessive force that led to the death of her husband Bobby, who was hogtied by witnesses before officers arrived and used a taser multiple times. And we find out that the McCurtain County Sheriff's Department didn't even issue tasers. This was a personal Weapon. The OSBI tells me there is no active criminal investigation involving McCurtain County officials. Sheriff Clarity is running for re-election with three others vying to take his place. Now, details of Hendricks firing are not public, but the McCurtain Gazette recently published a story outlining multiple problems, including accusations jailers were not required to go through a body scanner when other jailers have been accused of bringing in contraband. A process server has also filed a tort claim this year, alleging an illegal arrest for trying to serve papers to Sheriff Clarity. The Gazette reporter also has a defamation lawsuit ongoing and has since left the county over safety features. Years. We reached out to the law firm representing McCurtain County. I'll let you know when we hear back from them.